Hey y'all, welcome to Bee's Intuition. I'm B, and I'm back with another general collective energy message. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I do cuss and I do tell the truth, so if you don't like either one of the two, then you probably should move on. I've already prayed over the cards and the energy, so we're just going to hop in and get this message. Please remember to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe, especially to those of you that are viewing the channel. But have not yet subscribed you don't want to miss out on the messages that god has for you also please remember to take what resonates only and leave the rest for whoever it's for every message will not be your message so with that being said y'all let's hop in So somebody's receiving some type of lessons here about um, godly love here. Mm -hmm. What's the message? We have finale here, so the close or uh, the termination of something here. So something's coming to an end here. Something is coming to a close for some of you. If you were, uh, you know, getting a house or something like that, um, that could be coming to a close. It could be, you know, the finale. So you could literally be, um, you know, at the final stage to be able to close on your house here. Um, but something is coming to a finale here. An ending here. We have agony here. Intense pain of mind or body. Struggle that precedes death here. So if you, you know, were in some type of agony, some type of pain in your mind or your body here that you literally could have thought that you were going to pass away from um it's coming to an end here um or this could be taking place when it comes to somebody else here i'm also picking up too that something is going to come to an end here somebody literally is possibly going to be taking themselves out here or somebody literally is going to pass away here we have angel archangel michael here the leader of the spiritual army ready for war here Mm hmm so for some of you yeah um somebody literally could have just been trying to cause you agony in your life here and archangel michael ain't having it what else spirit we have superior here of higher rank quality importance here so yeah, whoever you are, you're superior to whoever this, this these people are, this person is here. Um, you're of higher rank, quality, and importance here. And I feel like that there was somebody or some people that were trying to come against you here. Yeah, well, it's the finale here. It's the close here. If these people were trying to cause you agony or whatever they were trying to do behind the scenes, yeah, Archangel Michael, again, is not having it. Um, you are superior to these people here and they're going to learn today about trying to come against somebody that's superior, somebody that's of higher rank than these people here. You outrank these people here and I feel like whoever these people are, um, they deny their spiritual, their spiritual rank here. And so for some of you, these people don't even have no rank here. They're not being held, you know, to have, you know, a high quality here or high importance in the spirit here. It's because they denied God pretty much here. Yeah, we have Galatians 6 and 7 here. Do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows here. So if somebody was trying to sow, sow you agony here, somebody was trying to sow you pain, mental or physical here, um, that you could pass away from, yeah, somebody definitely is going through this here. We have a lot of twelve, a lot of laws of karma at the bottom of the deck here. Somebody definitely does feel like a jackass here because they did try to cause some type of havoc in your life here. Wow. 
Wow. Why is this finale here, Spirit? We have expectation here. So, yeah, you can be expecting something can, to come to an a end here. I mean, and uh, this is a house here. It's not the house card, but it is a house on here. So, you, yeah, if you were expecting cl to close on a house, yeah, you're definitely going to be closing on that house here. So, you are going to be receiving some type of victory here. Um, but somebody did mock God in one in one way, shape, form, or fashion here. They were expecting something to take place in your life here. Mm -hmm. Somebody was also expecting for something to take place in your life to where that they would gain a lot of money here. But this is gambling. This is taking a risk here. So somebody took a gamble. They gambled here. They took a risk here. Um, and I feel like whoever this person is, they were expecting whatever it is that they were doing behind the scenes to take place when it comes to you. Um, but unfortunately... It's going to happen for them here. For some of you, you can be expecting to be gaining a lot of money here. Why is this agony here? Yeah, we have main person here. Whether you're a masculine or feminine energy here. So yeah, somebody was expecting for you to be in intense pain of the mind or body. That's, uh, and and it, it follows a struggle that proceeds in death here. So somebody literally was trying to do some things to you behind the scenes here. But the one, the first mistake that they made was when they mocked God here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Archangel Michael there is ready for war here. So if Archangel Michael is the leader of your spiritual, of the spiritual army, of course, the whole spiritual army is ready. They're on the front lines here. Yeah, you're getting ready to gain some money here because it's still at the bottom of the deck. Archangel Michael. Yeah, false person here. Yeah, somebody was expecting for somebody to look at you as a false person here. But there's a false person here that is definitely going to run straight into Archangel Michael here and your spiritual army here. We have a false person and then we have wolves and sheep clothing here. So it could literally be three people or it could be more than, than three people here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Somebody was, yeah, they thought that People were going to be looking at you as a false person or a wolf in sheep clothing here. Um, but yeah, somebody's realizing that you're superior here. You're the one with the rank. You're the one of quality and importance here. In the spiritual and physical here. And yeah, somebody's having gloomy thoughts here. Somebody's having gloomy thoughts here. So for some of you, somebody wanted you to literally jump off the edge here. But that's the energy that, that I was picking up in the beginning here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, somebody's having gloomy thoughts here. Whoever this is, they're realizing that you're their superior here. For some of you, you know, you it could this could be at your job here. Uh, there could be, you know, an employee that's trying to try you here. And you could be their superior here. Either way it goes, whoever this is, yeah, they're having gloomy thoughts because they made the, the worst decision of their life, which was to mock God. The second worst decision that they made was to try to come against you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and to come against your great happiness here. Yeah. Somebody literally is also having gloomy thoughts because of your great happiness here. So somebody is is mad. They're they're jealous, they're envious because you're happy here. Whatever you're doing in your life brings great happiness to you, and this person is mad because they couldn't stop your great happiness here. Or these people take it how it resonates because I don't know how many people it is. I'm picking up it's possibly three or more here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were expe expecting here for you to receive some sad news here, but they're going to be expect or, or they have received some sad news here. Yeah, um, whoever this is, they possibly could literally be physically harming themselves here. Or, or planning to physically harm themselves here with this agony here. They wanted you to be in having receiving the sad news. They wanted you to be not having great happiness here. They wanted you to be on the edge to where you jumped off the cliff here. But yeah, the, this person or these people are going to learn who is high honors. And it's you here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, whoever this false person is, 
which is Rich Girl at the bottom of the deck here. Um, yeah, they were part of uh, this false person group, this this wolf and sheep clothing group here. And so, yeah, Archangel Michael, that's who they're going to run straight into here. Whoever this is, this rich girl and whoever else was a part of this group, um, they thought that they were your superior here. They're finding out today that you are their superior in the spirit and possibly in the physical. And yeah, whoever this these people are, they're definitely having gloomy thoughts here. For some of you, somebody literally could be thinking about physically harming themselves here. But somebody's also having gloomy thoughts here. We have a marriage card. Mm -hmm. So for some of you, somebody's married here. Somebody's having gloomy thoughts about a marriage here as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, somebody thought that if they married a wolf in sheep clothing or a false person that it would bring great happiness here. But I feel like that there could be a married couple here for some of you um, that possibly came against you here. But they mocked God here. They thought it would be funny to mock God. So whoever you are, you're possibly uh, a worker of God here with this working occupation card. Um, whatever you do for work, it brings great happiness. But because they mock God, I'm picking up that it could be something with God here. So... Whatever you do in your work, maybe it's maybe you know you uh, work at McDonald's, you flip burgers, but you do everything in the name of God or in the name of Jesus, whoever, whatever ascended master you subscribe to here. But it definitely brings you great happiness here. Mhm. Mm yeah, we have bereavement here. So somebody's going to receive some type of bad news here, bereavement, and we do have agony here. Somebody thought. That you were going to be the one. Or somebody thought that your family were going to be in this bereavement energy here. Nope. Nope. And I feel like whoever you are, you're going to be receiving some type of information here about somebody passing away here. Yeah, these people are going to realize that you're high honor. And I'm not saying these people are, are supposed to bow down to you because they're not. But they're supposed to put some respect on your name. And I feel like whoever these people are, they ain't going to have no choice after today but to put some respect on your name here. Mm -hmm. We have main person here. Masculine or feminine energy. Reverse the gender here. Whoever this main person is, this masculine or feminine energy is, they literally could be passing away here. Or they're going to be brain or they're the ones that's receiving some type of sad news here. Whoever this main person, this masculine energy main person or feminine energy, take how it resonates. Um, yeah, they definitely are being dealt with by Arch Archangel Michael here. Um, this is this person is part of the false person crew. They're a part of the wolf and sheep clothing crew here. Mm hmm. But I'm also picking up too that whoever this main person is, they they were a part of this false person crew, this this wolf and sheep clothing crew. But I feel like that they literally pulled themselves back at a certain point. I feel like that because this main person is right here, the false person and the rich girl, the false people and the rich girl are right here under Archangel Michael here. So for some of you, they've been detained in spiritual jail by Archangel Michael. Whoever this main person is, whether it's a masculine or feminine energy here, I feel like they're realizing that you are um, high honors here. But they're also realizing who the false people are here and it includes whoever this rich girl is. Some of you, you're getting ready to receive some type of pleasant letter here. And yeah, whatever this pleasant letter is, it could be from this main person here or it could be from maybe the courts because we did see gaining a lot of money. Or it doesn't have to be the courts here. Either way it goes, you're going to be receiving some type of pleasant letter here. And all these people, this group of people, yeah, they're having gloomy thoughts here. Mm-hmm. We have theft here on top of this marriage card. So you're going to be receiving some type of pleasant letter about a theft here. Somebody literally could have had to steal to marry somebody or something like that. Yeah, but but somebody definitely had to steal in order to, to have some type of great happiness here. Yeah, we have a little child at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, a child of God. So whoever you are, you're a child of God. But this death card with a little child here. Yeah, somebody literally could have stole from a child as well here.
Wow. Let's keep going, y'all. Why is this uh, expectation with this sad news and bereavement here on top of finale, please? Yeah, some type of incoming message here. So you're going to be receiving some type of incoming message. It could be about, you know, a funeral here. Or somebody else is going to be receiving some type of incoming message here about a funeral here. But we do have pleasant letter here. Main person, high honors, main person on top of agony here. You're definitely going to be receiving some type of incoming message here. And it definitely is some type of sad news. But it's not sad news on your behalf here. Or somebody else is going to be receiving this incoming message here. Yeah, whoever you are, you definitely operate out of the prana energy here. So mediumship, consciousness here. So yeah, whatever you do for work could be mediumship. Whoever you are, you're woke. But somebody else is woke too. It could be this other main person here. Yeah, something about cyberbully here. So somebody literally could have been cyberbullying you here. Main person, high honors. Main person on top of agony here. Yeah, you're getting ready to receive an uh, incoming message about some type of money from a legal situation here. And so it could involve some type of theft here. But this could be just be like uh, money, uh, like spiritual court. So like spiritual money. I don't know if that's really a thing, but we're going to make it a thing today. Um, because somebody literally was trying to steal your great happiness here. But somebody was deceived, was mocking God here. So this could be a part of your spiritual inheritance. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, somebody's also finding out that they definitely were with the gold digger here as well. False person. Rich girl. Pleasant letter on top of Archangel Michael. We have a karmic father here. So this could be your father here. Or this could be father of somebody's child or children here. Um, yeah, or you could be receiving some type of money from a legal situation because of this person here or somebody or somebody's, yeah, with the bereavement here, somebody's father could have passed away here and they could have received some money or you're going to receive some money here from some type of legal situation here. Gloomy thoughts, marriage with the theft on top of superior here. Somebody's had some type of change of mind here. And it could have something to do with the marriage here. It could have something to do with the death here. Maybe somebody knows that somebody had a change of mind. That's why they're having gloomy thoughts here. Whoever this karmic father is, they could literally be the ones that's having this change of mind here. Maybe this karmic father is in uh, having gloomy thoughts here. Great happiness, work occupation, a little child. We had clueless came out here, so somebody literally, whoever this person is, it could be a, a karmic father here, or it could be the father of your child or children. We do have a little child out here. This person could have been clueless as to what was taking place behind the scenes here when it comes to you here. You definitely could have somebody blocked out here, so somebody literally wants you to unblock them here. Whoever this is, has had some type of change of mind here. Yeah, whoever this is, they possibly feel like that they've been crossed here. Or this person crossed you here. For some of you, yeah, they're getting a divorce here. So that could be where the gloomy thoughts come. So yeah, if this person is getting a divorce, they could have found out that the person that they were married to with this marriage card stole from them here. Or they could have just found out that this person was trying to steal their great happiness here. Maybe this person always wanted a divorce, but the person that they were married to could have literally stop them from getting a divorce time after time after time again here 
we have five 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 change here so there is some type of change that is going to take place here you definitely could be seeing five 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 a lot why is this incoming message here you could be seeing two 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 a lot as well whatever this incoming message is it has something to do with dodging a bullet here so you could be receiving an incoming message about you dodging a bullet here or this person is going to be receiving an incoming message about them dodging a bullet here. Somebody definitely dodged a bullet here. We definitely have Divine Masculine at the bottom of the deck here. So Divine Masculine could have dodged a bullet here, possibly by getting a divorce here. Um, this Divine Masculine could be the one that's getting this money from a legal situation here. Money from a legal situation. Or you could be the one that's getting the money from a legal situation here. Yeah, we have uh, Archangel Gabriel here, the, the 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 angel, the messenger here. Excuse me. For some of you, yeah, you're going to receive some type of physical message and spiritual message. Um, you could, and this person could here. There is somebody that definitely does need to heal though here. Mm hmm. Yeah. So somebody's father could pass away here. Some or they already have. Somebody needs to heal. Or somebody's father is going to pass away. Um somebody definitely has had a change of mind though and they possibly do want to apologize to you. This is somebody that you have blocked out here. And if it's not this person, it's the karmic here that's trying to come in to apologize to this person here cuz they've been caught here. Or it's a karmic that wants to apologize to you here. But somebody literally wants you to unblock them here. But I'm also picking up too that whoever this person is, this, this main person, whether it be a masculine or feminine energy, you could have caught this person cheating here. You could have caught this person sneaking and creeping with these false people here. So you could feel like that you were being crossed here. Or you, you could have found out that this person it was married here. Take it how it resonates. But... I'm also picking up too that this person literally has found the the karmic to be sneaking and creeping here. Um, they definitely feel crossed here. Mm -hmm. For some of you, somebody feels like it's too late here, or that's what this person is telling the karmic. It's too late. You've already crossed me. We're getting a divorce here. Divorce. Yeah, we have Karmic Feminine here, so it's too late for a Karmic Feminine here. Um, whoever this uh, person is, they definitely are divorcing this Karmic Feminine here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have Pisces Energy, so you could be a Pisces or have it in your chart. Or somebody that's involved in this situation could be a Pisces here. Uh, there's a Pisces that dodged a bullet here. There's a Pisces that could literally be getting some money from a legal situation here. Uh, whoever this Pisces is, they definitely are embarrassed here. So they could... But there's also a Karmic Feminine here that, yeah, was keeping secrets here. And they're also embarrassed as well here. Whoever this person is that is attached to your energy in some way, shape, form, or fashion... Um, yeah, you could have had a rocky relationship with them here. Um, there's a karmic here that this person has had a rocky relationship with as well here. Somebody's had some type of change in mind here and they want to apologize here. It has something to do with the life insurance policy, so that could be the money from a legal situation here. Somebody literally wants you to unblock them here, but somebody was found sneaking and creeping here. Yeah, and we have bed of lies here. So somebody literally was found to be laying in a bed of lies. Somebody feels crossed and somebody knows or feels like it's too late here. Um, we have 2020 vision. So somebody can see right through somebody here. And that's possibly why this person wants to get a divorce here. Um, and somebody literally is on the run here. So it could be this karmic feminine here. Something about October could be significant here. Somebody's also embarrassed here about somebody's intuition here. So somebody's intuition could be on. It could be yours here. So you could know that they were uh, mocking God. You could know that they were doing things behind the scenes or somebody was doing things behind the scenes when it comes to you here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something about a death certificate is relevant here. 
whoever you are, you possibly have some people, these people blocked out or this person blocked out here um, because you possibly were in a rocky relationship and you possibly don't want to deal with this person here. This person has had a change of mind. They do want to um, apologize here. And maybe they want to expose uh, this life insurance policy here. Mm -hmm. But something is coming to a finale here. Somebody literally it can be expecting to receive some type of sad news. And it is about somebody passing away here. And if somebody's already passed away here, uh, whatever's coming to a finale it has something to do with this death certificate and this life insurance policy here. Mm -hmm. You literally could be holding back here. Or somebody else is holding back, but I'm picking up because you possibly have the, the, this person blocked. You could be holding back from this person here. This person literally wants you to unblock them here, but I'm picking up. They got the karmic literally wants this person to unblock them as well here. Um, there could be some warrants that are going to be served here. So we have a theft out here. Um, so yeah, there are some warrants that are going to be served here. Somebody knows that they have been crossed or somebody literally crossed somebody here. So it's too late. We have 2020 vision out here. So somebody can see very clearly as to what's going on here. Yeah, somebody feels played. They feel bamboozled. They feel tricked here. And that's exactly why they're getting a divorce from a karmic feminine or a karmic masculine. Take it how it resonates. But there is someone that's on the run here. They possibly have been on the run since October here. Somebody literally feels like a crash dummy here. Mm-hmm. Somebody, yeah, these people are making arrangements here. Somebody's making arrangements here. So it could be about this money. It could be, you know, uh, funeral arrangements. Um, but somebody definitely is making some type of arrangements here. Or it could be to, you know, try to communicate with you here. Whoever you are, you're going to be receiving some type of incoming message. Whether it's from this person or from the courts or whatever the situation is here. We have the 12 laws of karma, the number four law, the law of focus. We cannot think of two different things at the same time. So yeah, whoever this whoever this person is um, that literally is getting a divorce here, yeah, they possibly try to have you in a third party here. They were thinking of two different things at the same time, a divine feminine or masculine and then a karmic feminine or masculine, masculine hair. And then on top of that, this person not only was thinking of two different things or two different people at the same time, they were actually trying to be committed here to two people at the same time here. But the karmic was also doing the same thing here. I mean, this karmic could have literally been committed to committing crimes and things of that nature. We have insight here, the power or act of seeing into a situation here. So somebody has some type of insight on what's going on. This could be you or this could be this person here. The person that is getting a divorce, the person that feels crossed here. Somebody possibly wants to be committed to you as well here. Or is just some type of agreement or pledge here that is getting ready to come take place here. So that could be what's what's uh ending here or or is closing here with this finale here. Oh, we have jail here. So a place of confinement for persons held in lawful custody. But I did pick that up as far as um, Archangel Michael detaining these people in spiritual jail. So as above, so below here. So it's some type of commitment, some type of agreement or, or pledge here. Some type of obligation here when it comes to jail here. Uh-oh.
There could be a superior here that could be going to jail here as well. They possibly, somebody was possibly trying to get you put in jail here. Yeah, something is going to be being, uh, be, be amended here to put in right here to change, modify for the better here. So whatever is taking place behind the scenes, yeah. And so if somebody is getting some money here, because we saw money from a legal situation, um, if this person has something to do with whatever took place when it comes to you, yeah, I feel like that, that something's coming to a finale. So whatever this is, it's being amended here. I feel like it's going to be released to you here. Mm-hmm. But it's something about some type of agreement here. And it could literally be about jail here. <clears throat> something is going to be made right here. So for some of you, somebody, yeah, I'll try to get this person locked up or something like that. Or it could be you or it could be both of y'all because we do have the main person and the main, uh, both of the main people here. So somebody literally could have tried to um, cause some type of agony and pain on both of you all here. Because maybe somebody wants to be committed to you and not to this person. That we did see divorce here. Either way it goes, we have something that's being amended for you, Empress or Emperor. Take it how it resonates here. Because mm -hmm. something that was done behind the scenes was illicit. It was not permitted. It was unlawful here. Mm hmm. Yeah, so this whole group of people are going to jail. They're already in spiritual jail. Wow. What else, Spirit? Yeah. On top of the expectation, sad news, bereavement with the 12 laws of karma, we have diagnosis here. So identification of an illness or other problem by uh, exam here. So yeah, somebody's passing away here, but there was some type of exam here. So somebody literally could have gotten an exam here and they could have said that, yeah, they're going to pass away here. Somebody is in agony and, and whatever this agony, whatever this pain is, it, it does proceed in death here. Wow. So because of whatever this diagnosis is, I feel like if there's some type of agreement or something that is coming into play here, um, it can have something to do with jail here. So maybe this person or people are sick here because it could be more than just one person. And maybe there is some type of agreement to go to jail instead of prison or something like that. We have hell here, free from defect, disease, or infirmary, uh, infirmity here. So some, what? So something could be a being amended for the Empress or the Emperor here because somebody literally could, could be diagnosed with something and they could know that they're going to pass away. And because the Empress is free from defect, the disease or infirmity here, um, maybe this person wants the Empress to be in charge of this or whatever the situation is. Or again, um, there was something that was done behind the scenes against the Empress here and this person literally feels like that that's right here. I don't know where we're going with this spirit. Yeah, we have lament here, so express sorrow, mourning, regret here. So yeah, somebody's getting locked up here, but somebody's also passing away here. And somebody regrets coming against the superior, the higher rank, which is you here. Yeah, somebody literally could be having gloomy thoughts because they received some type of diagnosis here. But something definitely is being amended here. Um, here we have a liaison here, so there's a liaison 
that is going to be establishing and maintaining some type of communication here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Somebody was trying to get the, the Empress to be exiled here. State or period of forced absence from one's country or home here. Wow. <laughs> right. How you gonna get an empress exiled out of out of what belongs to them? What? Stop it. People are so dumb. Idiotic. Yeah, something definitely is going to be granted here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, whoever this rich lady is, they were also sending or possibly receiving letters from the jail here as well here, or somebody or this main person here was communicating with this uh, rich lady, rich girl, whatever. Maybe this, maybe these people are already locked up here. Mm hmm. And so yeah, maybe. It, that was a communication earlier in the message here about somebody saying I apologize and yada yada and blase blase. Maybe somebody is already locked up here. And maybe in October this person, because we did see on the run, maybe this person, you know, got caught in October here. So maybe this person is already locked up here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We have outcome here. So there's an the outcome. The outcome of this diagnosis is that somebody is going to be in agony here. They're going to basically uh, be in intense pain of mind or body that uh, with with the struggle that precedes death here. Mm hmm Yeah. Whoever whoever this main person is here, they do realize that you are high honors here. Um, we have main person and main person. So for some of you, this is this is a, a situation that's supposed to be like two main people here are supposed to be together. Somebody literally could be committed to keeping themselves free from defect, de disease or infirmity here. Or both of these people could be. Um, and so that's why it could be too late for whoever this is here. Whoever this rich girl is here, this karmic here. Um, so yeah, you and somebody else could literally be on your spiritual journey, you know, focused on the path that you're on here. Mm -hmm. Wow. But the thing about it is, whatever this diagnosis is, whatever this agony, agony is, this person or these people wanted you and this person to, to have this or to be dealing with this here. Yeah, Proverbs 26, 27. Whoever digs a pit will fall into it. If someone rolls a stone, it will roll back onto them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the outcome is somebody literally is going to be labeled here. So whatever this is, as far as this diagnosis or whatever, this disease, this defect, this infirmity, somebody, this person is literally going to be labeled here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so everybody's going to know. And that's one of the outcomes. That's one of the consequences here. But I feel like that whoever this person is, when they were mocking God and were doing whatever they were doing behind the scenes here, um, they literally were... Um, Wanting everybody to know how bad of a person you are, how nasty you are, how dirty you are, wherever, whatever was going on behind the scenes here. And so, yeah, what goes around comes around. So whatever's going on in this person's life, everybody's going to know. Yeah, but this is a part of destiny here. Mm-hmm. Yeah.
this was already predetermined so this was destined to happen this is destined to take place here and your future was already predetermined for you to be superior of higher rank than these people here yeah and then we have defendant here so somebody literally could have got on stand here and try to mock God how do you put your hand on the Bible then mock guard God here yeah somebody's gonna have to sacrifice here but somebody literally th this person was literally trying to sacrifice so for some of you somebody was doing doing a sacrificial ritual whatever they do here yeah but it was but it was already predetermined here that this was going to take place this sacrifice or whatever it is yeah somebody this person or people were literally trying to sac sacrifice the empress here and possibly the the other person as well here but these people are going to literally have to sacrifice everything because they wanted to mock God. Whoever you are, Empress or Emperor, yeah, you're getting ready to get some great happiness here. Yeah, we have Compulsive Liar here. Mm-hmm. So if this person was trying to sacrifice you, then guess what? One of theirs got to go, or this one got to go. And we have a faction here. So a part of your group could be a part of the government here. Contentious, self-seeking here. So, oh, so they got to sacrifice a whole group. So, But we did already pick up that there was a whole group involved. So the whole group was involved in the sacrifice. So now they have to, oh, yeah. And there's a whole group that was trying to get the Empress exiled. Guess what? They got to go. Point blank and the sentence ends the period. There's no other way around it. And when it comes to the life insurance policy, maybe they maybe these people had a life insurance policy on you and the other person here. Yeah, this this the, whoever this group is, this faction is. Yeah, they're in fray. They're they're disorderly. They're fighting here, struggle, dispute here, but that's also the outcome as well for whoever these people are. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah, and there's and there is going to be a struggle when it comes to a death here. So somebody literally is going to be struggling. They are going to be in agony, intense pain of mind or body here. Struggle that precedes the death here. It came out two times. We have fray. The word fray, which is usually disorderly or protracted fight, struggle, or dispute. And then we have angel Azrael, messages of death here. Yeah, God is not playing with these people here. Somebody literally wanted you to go through this. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Somebody possibly could pass away while being locked up as well because we have messages of death with jail here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody possibly wants to come clean. But they, but with these messages of death here, with people communicating back and forth with this jail situation, they could have literally been communicating about trying to harm people here. Yeah. These people have to sacrifice everything. They wanted you, Empress or Emperor, to live in fear here. Yeah, and whoever this group of people are, this faction here, yeah, they were inciting. They were they were moved they moved to action to stir up and to urge on. Um wanting you to live in fear here. For some of you, whoever this is, whoever these people are that are locked up here already, they want to, they regret what they did here and they want to come clean. And for some of you, they want to come clean to you. Mm -hmm. Some type of audit could be taking place as well here. Yeah, but with the hermit here, some information has been revealed here. So the hermit could be a doctor here. So somebody literally could have found out. Yeah, that they. Yeah. Mm hmm.
But I feel like it's more than just one person. It's a group of people that are going to go one by one by one. Anything else, Spirit? We have Angel Uriel providing wisdom along the way. So whoever you are, you're always going to be receiving um, messages along the way here. And again, we do have destiny out here. So all this was preordained. Yeah. They were stirring up. They were they were urging on here to, to plot on your future here. Whoever this uh compulsive liar is, yeah, they're going down first here. Somebody possibly wants to come clean here. Um, because somebody possibly because we have child out here. A little child here. So for some of you, they want to come clean that they're going to pass away or whatever the situation is. They possibly want uh, to ask you to be a caregiver here. Or for some of you, this person hasn't passed away, but they know that they are. And they possibly need some type of caregiver. And they possibly want you to be a caregiver here. Mm-hmm. Wow. Anything else, Spirit? Because this is a mess. We have observation, so somebody literally is watching somebody be in agony or pain here. Or somebody watched somebody. I feel like somebody already passed away here. Yeah, whoever you are, you could have the gift of healing here. Mm -hmm. So if you have the gift of healing here, maybe somebody was mocking God by trying to say, well, why don't you go over there to Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine and get them to heal you. But guess what? Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine, if they have the gift of healing, they can. What you talking about, Willis? Get your mind right. Yeah. We have spiritual ascension here, awakening of the soul into a higher level of consciousness here. And we have air sign male, so Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. So, yeah. We have the main person female, the main male, main person male here. So, they literally could be awakening here. Or going through an ascension here. So, they're already awakened. They're going through a spiritual ascension here. So, whoever this is, they possibly have the gift of healing. So, if they were sick, they literally could be healing themselves here. Or they literally, or or this karmic wants this person to possibly heal them. Um, but it doesn't work like that. Destiny is going to play out. God's will will be done God's way here. And if it's destined for this person to get moved out of the way because they didn't want to listen, then guess what? Bye-bye. And nobody can detest it because this is God's work. Yeah, we have the emperor here. So there could be a, uh, this emperor could be in agony here. Or these people are just trying to fight with this emperor. But this emperor could literally be in agony here. Or this emperor wants to be in a commitment with you here. But these people were also wanting, oh, this emperor could have been a part of the move to action to stir up or urge on here. Or... This emperor literally knows that these people were doing this here. We have a defendant here. So the this emperor could be a defendant here. For some of you, whoever this defendant is, they, they're going to come clean in court here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, somebody wants to come clean as well here. About uh, you being a blessing here, a favor or a gift bestowed by God, thereby bringing happiness here. But you're getting ready to receive a blessing here. Whoever this emperor is, yeah, they're going to defend. They're going to basically, if, if they have to get up in court and de and defend here, they're they're definitely going to say that you are a blessing here. 
whoever this emperor is, they know who you are here. They've they've spiritually awakened and they're going through a spiritual ascension here. And yeah, whoever these people are, they wanted you to live in fear. You show these people unconditional love here. Mm-hmm. And while they wanted to incite, move to action to stir up and urge on the emperor um, to defend them, the, the, this emperor is defending you. Yeah, Job 4 and 8. As I have observed, those who plow evil and those who sow trouble reap it here. Yeah, Angel Gabriel bringing messages straight from God. So whoever this emperor is, they definitely are receiving messages straight from God here. And yeah, whoever this emperor is, when it comes to them having to take the stand here as a defendant here yeah angel Raquel bringing in justice and fairness here so they are being led to bring justice and fairness to you here mm -hmm. yeah and for some of you this emperor could be sick here or there is somebody that is sick Somebody wants knows that you are a blessing here. They possibly want to give you some type of blessing here to be an aid here. A person who acts as an assistant here. But Angel Sir Quill definitely is watching over you, protecting uh protecting you from um harm here. Somebody knows that they were a coward here. So for some of you, yeah, somebody wants you to be like a caregiver or something. There's a fire sign female, Leo Aries Sagittarius here. That has analyzed you, that has studied or determined the nature and relationship of you here. Yeah, and you are a warrior. You are a brave or experienced soldier or fighter here. So, But for some of you here... Um, you could be a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius here, and yeah, you've been analyzed, so for some of you, yeah, some type of warrior here, warrior in the, the, the spirit, warrior in the physical here. But there is somebody else here, it, it could be a sister, an aunt, a cousin, take how it resonates, that has basically, uh, studied you here, and they know, and they have determined that you are a warrior here. Based off of your actions. So you're all, you know what I'm saying? You not all talk. And yeah, these people feel like a jackass. So whoever this uh, fire sign female is, they're possibly part of this group here. Yeah, 12 laws of karma, the law of giving and hospitality. Our behavior should match our thoughts and actions here. Yeah, you show these people unconditional love. They try to harm you. To the point of no return. Floor. Yeah, these people are receiving karma. The sum of a person's actions. So we know what kind what kind of karma you're receiving here. Yeah. And yeah, somebody's unhinged here. They're highly disturbed. They're unstable and they're distraught here because they try to put these daggers in your back, you know, like the ten of swords in the tarot deck. Sharp pointed knives, item used to indicate a death date, but unfortunately they put them in their own back. And so yeah, somebody definitely did receive some type of death date here. Mm-hmm. But we, we did see crossed. So somehow, some way, these people crossed you and because we have the Empress and the Emperor out here. So they crossed both of y'all. Whoever this Emperor is, they're definitely going to defend your good name here. Because whoever this Emperor is knows your rank because they're an Emperor. This is destiny here. So this is a situation ship between two people. Everybody else should have stayed out of it. But since they didn't, and they were told to stay out of it, God has sent your spirit guides, angels, and ancestors to move these people out of the way. Point blank in the sentence in the period. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. So let's get some um, spiritual AF. 
some inspirational cards. Let's see. What we need? What else do we need to know, Spirit, before we end the message? Stop stressing over shitty AF people. The vast majority of our time spent in strife and stress is simply because we're stressing over shitty people. If you catch yourself thinking about a shitty person, take a moment and think about an awesome human. If you're going to spend time crawling up other people's asses, it might as well be somewhat awesome. So yeah, there's an emperor that is not no longer stressing over shitty people here. They want to crawl up in a, someone that's awesome's butt here. And this is the Empress here. But it was it was destined for it to be this way. Be a badass. Love being today. That's right. Today, it's your job to fill every room you go into with laser beams of love. If you can't do laser beams, then make your heart a bubble machine and fill the room with bubbles. If that doesn't work for you, then you should bring donuts to work. Donuts make almost everyone happy. Go forth with your mission, Grasshopper. So yeah, whoever this emperor is, because they spiritually awakened and they are going through some type of spiritual ascension here, they can. The, the only thing that they can do when they go in that courtroom is to tell the truth. How much of a blessing that you are, have been to people, not just these people, but people in general, and how much unconditional love you have shown to people in your life here. Mm -hmm. Let's get one more. Holding on to resentments is like uh it's like taking a shit on your own heart. <laughs> what? These cards get me. Yeah, it's that gross and pointless. Let that shit go. Look up a loving kindness meditation on the internet and do it. Focusing on love is like taking a baby wipe to your heart. So yeah, it's really all about healing here. So, um, whoever this person is, they're possibly wanting to come in to heal things with you here. Holding on to resentment is like a sh taking a shit on your own heart. So, whoever you are, if you're holding resentment towards this person, you need to heal. Go meditate. Because this is a part of your destiny. I said one more, but we're going to get one more. I like these cards. Or two more. We have no equals a full sentence. You know what punctuates that sentence? Action. We spend so much time explaining our boundaries that we forget to just have a fucking boundary. Say no and quit participating in what you said no to. Remove yourself from the situation if you have to. Be your own boundary. So we did see in the uh, well in the message here that this person is literally telling this person it's too late here. Whoever this person is, this this uh, emperor or empress, take it how it resonates. They needed to stand on it. They said what they said, and, and they need to stand on it here. And then we have quit dimming your life for people with uh, salty-ass mindsets here. You've got that dream, huh? That thing you think you maybe could do, but it's maybe too big, maybe too much of a long shot. Maybe you'll look stupid trying to do it. Do it. Seriously. Think about lying on your deathbed saying, I never went for it because I was afraid. Susan would talk shit about me. Susan talks shit about you anyway. Go do you. Then do you bigger here. So yeah, we we heard uh, deathbed. So somebody literally is on their deathbed and they are. They're, they're thinking about what they didn't do here. Um, yeah, don't be that person here. Somebody literally is going to regret the fact that they didn't let somebody go when they were supposed to so that they can find their happiness here. Um, but it is what it is. This, this, this is destiny and it's going to play out regardless. So with that being said, y'all, that's been the message. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon.